What's going on? It's your boy CJ Goodfella back with the boxing clinic and y'all last another video. Hopefully everybody enjoyed the holiday, Easter, um, resurrection day around the world. Um, you know, Sullivan Barrera, you know, to jump into it, got he had a fight on HBO Latino. Um, we knocked out some guy named Pay-Per-View Parker, I think the guy name was. I heard he was giving him some fits early. I tuned in a little late and I seen uh, Barrera get the knockout and um, you know, I heard he called out Joe Smith Jr. Now we know Joe Smith Jr. was in the negotiations with um Adonna Stevenson, the fight at MSG. Adonna Stevenson, we know, doesn't take a challenge at all. Said he wanted to be the A-side, and Joe Smith's team wouldn't let him be the A-side. And um, he pulled out, and we talk about him next video. We know uh, he knocked out from far. We talk about him next video. Um, and Joe Smith Jr., we know uh, he retired Bernard Hopkins, which is a blessing. Um, a lot tired of seeing that old guy fight. Um, it was time for him to go. Uh, Sullivan Rare, you know, he fought Andre Ward. Um, and then he lost, and then... Um, you know, he called out Arthur Better be He was training for him. Um, the money was the right. I think they only gave him 60K uh, to fight in Miami, Florida, which I thought it was big for him to fight down there amongst other people, uh, you know, like the Cubans and stuff that, um, and the Haitians and all those guys down there will come out and support him. Um, but 60K wasn't enough, so hopefully he made a lot more money uh, Saturday night versus that guy. But uh, the guy was giving him some fits early from what I hear. I tuned in at the, towards the middle and the end, and Barrera, you know, was hurting him, hurting him, knocked him down twice. Um, or knocked him down once and it was standing uh, eight count or whatever, or just caught it off a TKO. Um, you know he looked very sloppy. I know somebody made that comment. Like it was, he said, it was just me or just Barrera looked sloppy with his attack. He does. He doesn't look fluid. He doesn't look clean with his attack. Um, I know a lot of successful fighters that don't look clean with their attack, kind of unorthodox, kind of irky, jerky, sloppy um, type of attacks. But um, you know he just didn't look clean in my opinion. Um, but he got power, and he does have some skills, and he's a guy who's very, very strong. If he goes against Joe Smith Jr., I think he he will be tested and probably been probably be um um you know pushed to his limits. You know what I mean? He's a guy who's athletic. You can see it, and Joe Smith Jr. is as well. And um, it, it'll make for a beautiful fight. I think HBO will most definitely um, pick up that fight if they want to bring Barrera back. If not, you know Joe Smith Jr. and Barrera will be an excellent main event on um on pbc and i know people are um, talking about how pbc lost the spike tv channel um but it's really um they're in negotiations to um to continue the contract as we speak with al Heyman. they was playing with their ratings um they had some of the biggest ratings on pbc uh on the smarter networks uh, if you didn't know the Broner versus theo Payne fight and they had a couple other ones that did um that did good money too so i wouldn't be surprised if they did bring it back um they're in talks with Heyman right now um, about bringing it back, but uh, this fight is definitely a. Uh, I said it's an NBC um, card, probably afternoon, late night, potentially with the right amount of cards on the bottom, uh, undercard. But it, it's an explosive fight right here. I mean, uh, this is a a nice continuation of a good year so far with with big big fights that's going to happen. And I think this fight has the you know the makings to really live up to the hype and exceed the hype, depending on how you look at it. We gone.